Cowboy fans, um, good morning. Is it still morning? I'm not even sure. It's still morning or not. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> anyway, um, what's up, Cowboy fans? Uh, this is Cowboy Legends for Life. I want to point out something here about the, um, the quarterback situation um, uh, before 2016 as well as now 2016 and, and on. Uh, at, um, as one of the criticisms I've been hearing about uh, a number of people, and, and as well as uh, Cowboys fans, it was that Dak Prescott holds on to the ball too long. And because of that, it results in sacks. All right? Now, people who were Cowboys fans always lamenting a lot about Tony Romo being gone um, from the team. And I understand it. They were Romo fans, and they were and they liked his play, and he was a talented quarterback. He was, and um, I know that. But um, this this unnecessary criticism of a one year player, a two year player, now about now about to enter into his third season, it's just it's just like the, too much. And that's only just one aspect of the criticism that Dak Prescott gets every, daily from people, from his um, of, of, it's not even from his fan base, but especially his opponents because. You know, I think they fear him. They've always feared him because, you know, in spite of all the things that they say that he lacks, that he, they say he lacks, he just keeps winning. That's a fact. He just keeps winning. But, that's, but here's the thing, though. Excuse me, but here's the thing about this. Uh, for instance, they say that, like I said, that he holds on to the ball too long because the front line gives him three seconds or four seconds or even how many seconds he goes out past that. And it holds, it looks, looks for an opening because, you know, Listen, let's, let's face it, our, our, our wide receiver core sucked. When you take the whole scheme of things into one, one season, it sucked. And a lot of that, a lot of that situation was uh, uh, T. Will's uh, inability to try to hold on to the ball when he, when he was thrown to. Um, uh, Bryce Butler, even though he emerged even a more, uh, a more dangerous wide receiver, uh, uh, did not exploit that at practice so that he can get a chance to play on the field. And then his injuries took place. And then you have, um, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, uh, I'm sorry, give me a minute. But uh, uh, Beasley, Cole Beasley, was just doubled and, tri and, and sometimes tripled the, throughout the entire season because the only, for the most part, they had Des Bryant with one man on him. But Des Bryant led the league in drops. Des Bryant led the also one of the top... Um, uh, uh, target uh, thrown to thrown to was him as well. Okay, but the thing about that was that uh, even though he had one man on him for the most of the, most of the season, um, Des Bryant did not exploit that because every time a lot of those interceptions as well that Dak threw to when he threw to him was thrown because of that towards Des Bryant. Now you can you can look at it either way. I'm not even going to get into the argument. Look at it either way. It's because of Dak's inability to get the ball to him or or or. or, or uh, uh, Des Bryant's inability to catch the ball when it gets to him. And you saw that about at least 12 or more times. He just simply dropped the ball. All right? Anyway, but the point is this, is that how could you criticize this two-year player that he holds on to the ball too long when, let's for instance, let's go, Tony Romo, 2011, sacked 36 times. 2012, 36 times. Uh, 2013, 35 times. 2014, that good, great, great season, 29 times. But he basically played in about 14 games, just about. He got hurt in that fifth. He hurt in one of those games, one of those two games, and was out the next game. Okay, and so he didn't play a full game, nowhere near it. So he just he was hurt. So he played basically played in 14 games. Got sacked 29 times. All right. Now, Dak Prescott comes on in 2016. He gets sacked 25 times his first year, okay, and then 32 times his second year, all right? Now, if, 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 that's all I've been hearing about. He holds on to the ball too long, you know? He doesn't see the field well, which is, which is not true. I think he sees it just about as good as uh, the majority of the uh, uh, quarterbacks out there, okay? His point is that, um, well, so what is it now? Is, is it, you're saying that he holds on to the ball too long, so tell me what happened before Dak got there. Did Roma hold on to the ball too long? You know, the one y'all all love and, 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 and cherish? It must be. Now tell me he had a bad front line. <laughs> Just wanted to put that, point that out, that's all.